Hi, this is Imran from itradeaims.com. Uh, I'd like to quickly show you what indicators that we use and the indicators once you download your template uh, your chart should look like like so uh, not the vertical lines uh, I have put the vertical lines for uh, to indicate areas where uh, what we call the sleeping alligator the setup uh, the setup one these are the areas where we, we would like to be going short around this area and this area but quickly uh, let me right click indicators we have AIMS level AIMS indicator and AIMS entry alert and AIMS AO okay AIMS levels is the gray shaded area uh, the gray shaded area is based on a fractal indicator Bill Williams fractal uh, a fractal is based on uh, basically it's a uh, it's a formation of candles in which when whenever you have five candles and the middle one has the the highest high or the middle one has the lowest low you have these fractals printed so for example in this example here uh, this is the middle candle and you have one two to the right two to the left if you see the highs of these two and the highs of these two are lower than this high so the gray shaded area starts there and a lower fractal is this you have one two three two to the right two to the left if you see the low of this candle compared to these two and these two this is the lowest so it creates that gray level this is the structure of the structure of the market uh, based on fractal uh, we call this aims levels uh, we always want to trade on the break of aims we will never trade here or inside here or here we will trade um, the break of break of aims and let me also say the f uh, we, we want to trade the first uh, we want to trade the breakout of the first fractal out of the sleeping alligators so in this example the first breakout out of a sleeping alligator is this fractal this area or any of these right so this is the first breakout this breakout was not a breakout because it created another AIMS level and it didn't really continue so if it had then broken around here and continued that would be the first fractal out of the alligator's mouth here in this occasion if you see alligators asleep here and this is the first breakout out of th this would be the second breakout right so this is the first this is the second this is the first here and if it broke above this, this would be the second around here the alligator is asleep this is the first breakout out of the sleeping alligator's mouth if you were to go here this would be the second breakout but look how far it is it's far away so you won't take this so uh, this is what we call setup one when alligator is nice asleep aims levels are tight and on the first break of alligator's mouth uh, of the first break of fractal out of the sleeping alligator's mouth we would go short you could have gone short here as well but that would have closed here something like this and this would be the result Okay, the next indicator is the AMS indicator. Now, if you don't know what alligator is, the alligator is basically Bill Williams indicator made of these three lines, green, red, and blue. Um, according to the structure of the market, blue is the balance line of the market. Uh, blue coincides with, with AO as well this red line is basically the blue line of a certain say, uh, time frame lower and the green is a certain even lower time frame now based on this principle uh, we have added another line to this which we call the purple line this dotted line is the purple line and this is the five times higher time frame red line so in other words if you see price action all the way below purple this line it means on the five times higher time frame the trend is low uh, the trend is down so you just want to take only the down trends so for example like here if you're looking to go long this long would not have been correct because it was going to purple line uh, and even around here if you were to take this breakout around here you would be going against purple uh, although purple was relatively close so uh, the closer it is uh, the less effective I mean because for example if you were to go long here and then it didn't 
if it did not bounce against this purple or if it continued then this wouldn't be too bad because that would mean you took uh, an early twist into the uptrend uh, around here for uh, an asleep, alligator is not asleep but if for example if your one was to go long here which I wouldn't go you had some distance towards purple so some people might be interested in trading retraces and this would be the thing for them uh, to trade from here all the way up to the purple some people do that I do not and I do not recommend see here the alligator is asleep you'd go short here all the way and all the way here you will exit so that's the alligator um, all the trend starts we count we count the the let's say the life of a, a wave from where it sleeps so from where it sleeps you keep looking at um, the chart and since we know that this is the first fractal out of the sleeping alligator's mouth the the later you are the less chance of success so this is the first break this is the second break this is the third break this is the fourth break so if you're entering at the fourth break you should know that you're actually 33 pip late into this wave so the possibility uh, so I wouldn't recommend taking trade here if you haven't taken these and these right for example if this was your first break or let's say this example if this was your first break and then you wanted to take the second break of the fractal around here you should know that price has already moved around 85 pips in this wave so this was probably too late although this is just the second fractal out but this is too too late around here the alligator is not asleep so if you go here you're, you're still going into a continuation so you have to take into account that this entry here actually started from this wave up there so that's 90 pip late right so alligator helps us the other big thing about alligator is that um, a lot of people confuse uh, our trading they think that we trade Elliott wave we don't we have a mechanism uh, whereby the alligator puts us into an impulse wave so when you, the alligator is asleep you're in a corrective wave which you can call two or four or ABCs whatever right we don't care so this would be your corrective wave and as soon as the alligator is open right and you you're going around with this the alligator open means you're in an impulse wave of some kind now we don't care whether it's three or five or whatever I mean I know how to count it but if you don't care it doesn't matter you can still trade it so look for sleeping alligators and when you get into this the setup will get you into a possible impulse wave and as, as long as the alligator is open you're in an impulse wave and when it starts closing down like keep looking at these things and this green crosses the red and the AO is turning around with it you know that the impulse wave is finishing right the next is AIMS AO AO is this this thing here this AO is based on the um, crossover of the five simple moving average and 34 simple moving average when price is around here that first bar of AO red that means that this is where the 5 is crossing the 34 SMA and when it comes around here that means the 5 has come back so these are the levels these are the areas where we call the the balance line this is the balance line price is usually around the blue balance line as well around here and around here as you can see and these are the areas where we want to start looking into trades these are then the peaks which means that we are far away uh, from from the normalization for the balance line and if you can see that if you enter here then you are far away from the balance line if you look at it that's about 42 pips if you entered here then you were only 20 pips away if you enter around here you were only 12 pips away so you gotta count this distance and this will tell you how far or how late you are into a trend so you want to be as close as possible to these li lines and as close and if you if you manage to be as close as possible to these lines or if you try to be as close as possible to the zero line on these bars then your trades are always going to be in the best positions so the later you are for example in these areas these areas and these areas uh, the lower chance and this is then called divergence because you have a, P, uh, a low here and price made another low and with this low coincided this low of AO but when price came down one more time even lower it did not go lower in fact it made a higher low this actually then tells you that this wave has lost momentum as you can see it's a huge power force here 
retraces and the AO co goes dark as well telling you I'm retracing and then it turns red here and then it shows that I am resuming the trend I have more momentum but that momentum comparatively to this momentum is now dying so that means wave is now going back up and as you can see divergence here already already told you to get out of this trade because the momentum has died and our price is ready to go sideways and that's exactly what it did uh, it, 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 it went sideways and AO was like this and you wouldn't go long here because you know the trend is down as price is all below the purple and once again it slept if you went short around here this would have immediately closed you for 10 or 15 pips or whatever uh, amount and as you can see the you know the AO was not really well it was close to zero line but um, it was too um, time wise there was a strong wave and this was too early to go short so I'd like to also mention that when you see a strong wave like this you gotta give it some time most of the time I would recommend that wait for it to come back to the purple line for it to continue again but in this occasion as you can see it slept went sideways it is really relative left uh, stayed within a range and then this is the first fractal breakout out of the sleeping alligators so you would go short here and if you go short here now you know that you are about 29 pips late you could have added here or you know taken this this setup but if you if you take this setup without taking this one then you're risking too much but if you had taken this setup and added on here then that would be fine uh, but adding on is a different concept so these are the indicators then come the the dots the dots is basically for to alert you that price is uh, at or around alligators so uh, that comes around with the green line so when it crosses the green line or crosses the green line up or below these dots come whenever you hit a dot you know that you are either already inside the alligators mouth uh, or the alligators asleep or uh, the price has just finished an impulse wave and now coming back to the alligators mouth that's what the dot does and there are other videos in which I, I have talked about how to use the dots but more important than dots is understanding the concept of the of the wave is that uh, wave does something like this an impulse wave then it comes back to the alligator's mouth then the alligator sleeps and when it sleeps that's when we are interested now when the alligator sleeps that's where you will get the whip whiplash as well but that doesn't matter because your whiplash is going to be very small comparatively to the to uh, when price breaks out so for example if you took a, a loss there that was 15 pips but when you made a winner a winner was probably 25 pip or 14 pip in this so it was equal it covered that bit let's say and then you took another one here and then if you closed it with the blue dot or close on green line then you had 30 pip, 30 pips or if you if you trail this around this then you again had like 40 pips or something like that. Other days you can get even 100, 150 pips from this. And then there's further techniques uh, such as adding on, which can really, really increase your return of investment. But most importantly, what we need to learn is to be able to sh go short here and then close on green line or the red line, or if you've chosen the dot or the break of aims, then whatever you ha is your strategy, you're gonna follow it. And that's what it is. So I just wanted to quickly talk about uh, how I see my charts and how uh, I see what these indicators are. Thank you for watching.